In today's midday fix, 39 local businesses and restaurants have donated to the 19th Ward Super Raffle. It's a fundraising effort to help support small businesses during the pandemic. Big prizes are on the table and a lot of goodwill with this one as well. Joining us now to tell us more about it is Alderman Matt O'Shea from the 19th Ward. Thanks for joining us, Alderman. Hi, Julie. Thanks for having me. Listen, tell us about this because this is no small feat and it sounds like what you're really trying to do is highlight small businesses, give back to small businesses, and it started back on November 13th. Yes, we're now 10 days into the 19th Ward Small Business Super Raffle. It is our community's response to the pandemic and the many, many struggling small businesses we have uh, throughout the 19th Ward, Beverly Morgan Park and Mount Greenwood. Uh, Matt, tell, speak, us how it, tell us how it works, if you would. So we have 39 participating businesses. Uh, you can go to our website, www.the19thward.com, to purchase a $10 raffle ticket. Uh, that money raised goes into a pot, uh, which at the ending of this, on, on December the 18th, will, you be divide, will be divided up to all the participating businesses. So uh, we have some wonderful prizes. Uh, McCarthy Ford, we have a 2020 Ford Escape valued at $27,000. $15,000 uh, grand prize if you don't want the car. Uh, several other uh, wonderful prizes along with it, but everybody can do their part in supporting small business and have a chance at winning great, uh, great prizes. You know, all anybody heard at home was that they're giving away cars on the south side for free or for 10 bucks, so be careful. You know, things might blow up here in just a little bit. I like it, Matt. Um, tell us, too, this is something that you all had tried before. It wasn't your first attempt. It went so well, you kind of blew it up and made it a little bit bigger. Could it work elsewhere, do you think? Um, this is just the south side's effort right now. Absolutely. You know, we've been contacted by other chambers of commerce throughout uh, the city and surrounding suburbs asking how, how we're doing this. Uh, absolutely, this can be duplicated. Uh, one thing is for sure, Julie, that everybody needs to step up in, on behalf of their sm uh, struggling small businesses. This is just our response, but I'm confident that this will be remarkably successful as we still have almost four weeks. It's so true, and small businesses, really the lifeblood of all these little communities that Chicago has become so famous for. Tell us about the state of things on the South Side in particular. What are you seeing in your community right now when it comes to your small businesses? What are you hearing? I'm sure they're very grateful for the raffle, but outside of that, what does the struggle look and feel like to you? Julie, they're devastated. Uh, many of our businesses are hanging on by a thread right now as we speak. Uh, they're dipping into their savings. Uh, they are struggling to keep not only their doors open, but their dedicated staff employed. Uh, we need to do more as communities to support them. Uh, this is one effort. Everybody can take part. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really struggling right now. It's so true. And I think that, you know, when you describe what the South Side looks like, that is what's happening in just about every other community. And if they're not seeing it at this moment, it could be happening down the road. I think even the mayor of Chicago, <clears throat> Mayor Lightfoot, has really suggested things are going to get worse financially. And small businesses, of course, is our first glimpse into that. Yeah, we are headed into a long, cold, dark winter. Everybody needs to do whatever they can. You know, this holiday season, be sure to shop local. Uh, shop just in your neighborhood and purchase gift cards uh, for family members. Uh, but this is this needs to be a concerted effort, all hands on deck to do whatever they can to keep the cornerstones of their community, our community, small businesses alive and well. Yeah, they're going to be, they are resilient for sure, but they can't do it alone. Um, Alderman, before I let you go, the lighter side of all this is you have an event in early December with Pat McGann, the comedian, which should uh, hopefully make everybody smile through these tough times. Uh, yeah, if, if people purchase five tickets uh, online, uh, again, that's $10 a ticket, they can participate in a virtual fundraiser uh, hosted by Pat McGann. Everybody knows Pat McGann. He's been on Letterman, Colbert. Uh, last two years, he's been touring with one of the top comedians in the world, Sebastian Maniscalco. Uh, we're lucky to have Pat here as a friend and neighbor. Uh, Pat and his wife, Sarah, do so much to support our local community. Uh, we're just so excited that on Friday, December 4th, folks can participate in this comedy hour 
in support of our small businesses. Well, thanks so uh, they much. They can go to our website. You, you betcha. And thank you so much for your efforts in sharing them with us today. Hopefully people will respond uh, in kind as soon as uh, they get a look at it. So thanks again. The raffle goes through December 18th, as a good alderman just mentioned. Winners will be drawn uh, on December 20th. For more information, you can check out the 19thward.com.